Hello and thank you for joining. Today's tutorial is going to be the very first Java tutorial number one and we're going to install Java and we're also going to install an IDE which is the development um, development tool for Java. And in this case we're going to install Eclipse. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to install Java and how you do that is just go to Google or Bing or any major search engine and, and type download Oracle Java and then we're going to choose the option to install the Java development kit and we're going to install the latest version in, in this example here and then as a FYI Java is platform independent which means it really runs on multiple operating systems so whether you have a Mac, a Sun workstation, uh, Windows, whatever, it should run on it and there's multiple different options and flavors for you to choose from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and type in Google. I'm going to type download Oracle Java. I'm going to hit return. And the first option that comes up should be the Java downloads here on the Oracle site. And I'm going to go ahead and click the Java development kit right here. And I'm going to choose this 8U11 version, which is the latest. And now what will happen, you'll get a page will come up. And you'll get all the options right here. You're going to go ahead and accept the license agreement. And in my case, I have a Windows, I have an older Windows laptop that I'm doing this demo on. Um, so it's a 32-bit version. So we install, um, and for this example, Windows x86. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. And I'm going to put it in the Java folder. You can see I already have it. I'm just doing this as an example. So what you would do is save it wherever you want to on, the de on, your, um, on your computer. And then, by the way, um, if you have a 64-bit version, you'd want to download this version. If you're on a Windows machine and you don't know whether it's a 32 or 64-bit, I'm going to show you how to do that. This is Windows 7, so it might be slightly different depending on which Windows version you're running. But you go ahead and click the Start menu, and then you go to your Computer option here, and you right-click it, and you choose Properties. And when Properties comes up, you will see there's a section here in the middle called system and you will have a system type and in this case it's the 32-bit as I mentioned this is an older system so you might have 32 or 64 okay so now once that's done what you do is you go into your download folder and you go to the folder where you download it in this case it's downloads Java and then you'll notice over here this is still it just finished downloading and you, you will not have two versions here so I'll have this i586 application here and what I will do you can see it's 155 megabytes um, I will just double click that and I will run through the installation process and I've chosen all the defaults for this example so I'm not going to run through that for the sake of time here and so once that's done then what you're going to do, you want to go want to go in and now you're going to need to install an IDE, an integrated development environment. There's multiple IDEs available. Um, there's NetBeans, which was on the, pre, on the Oracle site you could download. There's Eclipse. Um, if you're taking a Java course, your instructor may have you download a different IDE. Um, it really doesn't matter. Eclipse just happens to be a nice one and we're going to use all our, um, we're going to do all the tutorials in Eclipse. And so how do I find it? I just go into any major search engine and I type download Eclipse Java IDE. And then what we do is um, it comes down in a zip file, we extract it, and then we'll create a shortcut on the desktop. So I'm going to go ahead back to Google and I'm going to type download Eclipse Java IDE. And you'll come up, This the first link should be this Eclipse site slash downloads and you'll notice it defaulted over for me um, for Windows so I, I would think it would do the same if you were on a Mac it'd probably bring up the Mac versions um, but scroll down there's a couple different options here there's one for Java Enterprise Edition there's one for Java developers this one should be more than sufficient for um, what we're going to be doing, which is the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And then I'm going to download the 32-bit. I click it. And then I click the download link here. And now I'm going to put it in a folder I call Eclipse 2. 
and you can see I already have the file here and you can see it's already a zip file and I have this file folder here but I'm gonna just say save and I'm gonna say I'm just gonna say no and I'll show you the steps that you go through but you would say you would obviously save it there then once that's done installing what you do is you go back into your where you downloaded it I'm gonna go to Eclipse 2 here and you'll see this compress zip fo zipped file here you will not see this file folder that's that's from me extracting it earlier so what you're gonna do is on the compress file here compress folder you're gonna right click it and you're gonna choose extract all and then when the extract all comes up you can decide where you want to put it you can click on the browse button you can leave it where it defaults to whatever makes you comfortable wherever you want to put it um, and then leave the box checked here for show extracted files when complete and then click extract once you do that and it extracts all those files you should now have a file folder here with the same exact name you notice the file type changed from a zipped to a file folder here and you can see it right there under the type so what you do here is you go over here and you'll double click that and you will go into the Eclipse folder and then you'll scroll down you'll see an application here with the Eclipse icon what you're going to do here it, you can just launch it from here if you want to by double clicking it or what you probably want to do is right click here and say create a shortcut and you can see what happened it created a Eclipse hyphen shortcut so now what I'm going to do I'm going to minimize all these other things and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag this onto the desktop here and once I do that I, I already put one there so I'm going to do move and replace and now you can see I'll move it up here to the top so it's a little easier to see and now you have an Eclipse shortcut icon and now you can just double click it and launch Eclipse and we'll talk about the setup of Eclipse in the next tutorial. So we'll go back here and we will set up Eclipse and we'll create our first program, a really basic Hello World type program just to get you uh, acclimated to the environment. Well, thanks for joining and please subscribe. Take care.